Hello guys, hello. Hello guys, tough, tough, tough. Oh, what's up everybody? My name is Russ with rwgresearch.com and that was hilarious. In fact, I think I gotta watch it again. Hello guys, hello. Hello guys, tough, tough, tough. Oh my, okay, well that's what happens when you leave the camera somewhere and my son gets a hold of uh, some of my wife's old glasses for a costume from like the 1950s. It's actually quite hilarious. Anyway, this video is going to be installment number six of the Zero Electric Motorcycle. Uh, we're going to be working on the chain, the sprocket, the chain guide, and a few other things along the way. And then, uh, yeah, lots of that. So uh, enjoy the video and... Uh, that's it. All right, well, we got this far. I'm using the old chain as a measurement tool. It's probably a little bit stretched. Um, and it's also very worn out and rusty so I will be replacing it this is actually an aluminum gear to make everything light and uh, this is actually not worn like at all it's pretty amazing the other gear um, that I put on or that I replaced up here it was actually worn down so I cut this gear down as you guys saw because I apparently bought a slightly too wide of a gear but it's got the right pitch, so we're gonna use it. And it is case hardened, which is interesting, but I think I'm okay there, because I didn't get all the way through there. But because I put this bigger gear on here, um, to make this thing go a little faster with a little less torque, because that's what I was wanting. I wanted to go a little faster on the road, and not necessarily that much torque in the dirt. The reason, uh, or the, the fact that I put a bigger sprocket on here means that my chain is now gonna hit the frame. It's kind of hard to see, but it is going to hit the frame. Um, uh, maybe I'll get you a little closer. Elevator. Yeah. All right. I have no idea what you can and can't see, but basically, yeah, you can see it right here. So it hits the uh, hits right right where my fingers at, right there. So I'm gonna actually. <laughs> Probably what I'm gonna do there's a bolt hole two bolt holes down here And this is a solid piece of metal down here on the bottom. So I think what I'm gonna do is just make me a bracket and uh, Probably mount me a skate wheel with a groove cut in it Because to be fair that uh, polyurethane wheels are really 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 durable and I have lots of skateboard stuff So I think I want to make an idler out of a skateboard wheel now the original motorcycle actually has these plastic parts that hold the chain from falling off. Um, I'm not sure if I'll use those or not. I probably will just to keep the chain from whacking this thing. Um, but the bottom one actually goes down here to keep the chain coming back up nice. Not sure if I'll put that one back on. So, Okay, well let's get to work. I'm going to figure out how to make this idler wheel.
got things where I think I want them. Uh, looks like my brackets fits pretty good. Could have made it slightly different, but uh, I think I'm okay. <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do is probably make some small aluminum standoffs and then uh, Ted weld them to this piece of aluminum here. Just like that. So I need about uh, three quarters of an inch or so in the air. And then uh, maybe I'll come back and trim this corner off this bracket. It's probably not necessarily stick out. I cut this flush with the bottom. And if I have the wheel up like that, it still sticks down past the bottom just a little. I could, I mean, I can go even higher here. I could go even higher, I guess. Now I'll think about that. But yeah, thumbs up. Now we need to uh, fabricate a few more parts, but that's tomorrow. I'm going to bed right now. Wait. I do not even know what I found in there. I found this. Found this, Dad. Such a pretty flashlight. Cool. Oh. Mucho better. Hmm, that puts a bit of a damper on things. Somebody compromised the lathe. I mean, what? What is this? Oh yes. Somebody compromised the vise. Oh, and I tightened it too tight. What the heck? This thing's pretty old, but goodness. It is def definitely a problem. I've welded better and I've welded worse. That ain't bad. I used way too much filler out on this side. This side's just about as bad, but you know what? It ain't going anywhere. I let this hang because I'm going to mill this off. I'm going to mill it as short as I can. Yeah, that's, that is not going anywhere. That welded a lot better than the last time I tried to weld aluminum. I had anodized aluminum and I didn't know it until I was too late. Sweet. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. I had to undercut this um, because there's a weld on the bar and it sticks out past the bar so I had to mill that out. I'll have to come back and touch these two little spots but yeah I'm happy with that. Now we gotta go buff this out and I'm gonna mill these ends off. Here's we successfully managed to get this on here. There's still this bracket that goes here, but in order for this not to hit, I'm gonna have to cut some off this face. It needs to move over. Um, the other thing is, is this pulley may need to go back uh, just the amount that I cut off of the 
um, sprocket I should say because maybe the whole thing is this way just a fraction too much and that could be a potential problem as well so I need to just check a few alignment things and make sure the wheels aligned and everything else is proper but yeah I can spin it by hand it's not bad one of these uh, this was a pretty cheap chain it was just a generic 420 chain and uh, somewhere along the chain there's a little spot that keeps getting caught on my sprocket um, I don't know what that's all about I was thinking maybe it would fix itself but it kinda keeps getting stuck anyway this is a chain guide to make sure the chain gets back on the sprocket just in case because uh, apparently the chain can jump off pretty easy this little wheel worked really well so far I like the way that that's set up and by the way in case you're wondering yes I do make a mess in my shop let me just kinda show you okay here's here is the uh, ginormous mess in my shop um, you know when I'm working and I'm really working and I have nothing no time to actually clean up yeah it uh, it gets pretty messy I can't even walk over here there's just stuff everywhere. In fact it was so messy I had to make a welding table instead of using the welding table that's right there which is a terrible terrible thing like for real and it just kind of continues to get worse over there I gotta clean this place up okay well hopefully that was uh, at least somewhat interesting um, you know mechanics something you may have seen or haven't seen but the the guide wheels pretty cool had to put that on there now later I actually put a smaller sprocket on it just uh, FYI and uh, I still need the guide wheel and a few other things so we'll check that out in a later video but anyway, thanks for watching. God bless you guys. As always, read the Bible more, and I'll talk to you another day. Leave a comment, and thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm out. Bye. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello, guys.